What is up guys? I hope you guys dig this new intro I have. Shout out to the subscriber who helped me make it. I love you. Today, I'm excited to show you guys that I'm getting a new steering wheel and I'm super hyped because it's the M Sport steering wheel that I've been talking about for like the longest time. Basically, why am I doing this is because the steering wheel I have in the car right now sucks and it's really ugly. And the main reason is because this has paddle shifters, it's thicker, it's better quality and it's aesthetically more pleasing. I'm going to show you guys before and after shots of how it looks and with the GoPro setup of me driving, even like panning shots too. I know the number one question I'm going to get is where I got it from and how much it was. I'll leave a link in the description if I can. It was on eBay so it won't be the exact same posting but it'll be the same seller. It was $1,000 with the airbag. Uh, does it require coating? I know you guys are gonna ask me that because almost every video I could install a lip and you guys will ask, does it require coating? Because these cars are so complicated. I'm just joking. Yes, it does require coating, but that's only if you don't have a pre-wired harness in the car. You really don't know. I don't even know if my car comes with the harness pre-wired for the paddle shifters. So if your car doesn't have paddle shifters, you more than likely will have to do some coating. We're gonna go to Mike's shop and install this, obviously. Uh, another thing is this, this airbag is not the one that is sold in uh, this, the steering wheel is from Europe, so it comes with a single stage airbag, I believe. In the US, you need a dual stage. That's another thing that we're gonna have to do is code that to work. So if you're trying to do this mod, it's gonna be about like a thousand-ish, a little bit more than that, because if you don't know how to code the car yourself, you're gonna have to take it to somebody to code and install it. The installation overall is very easy, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's go, let's do this. I can't wait to put this new wheel in. All right guys, so we're here. Mike's installing the Depot Angel Eyes. The Depot Xenon headlights that I have in a customer's car right now. But look how tuner-like the shop looks right now. I mean, excluding my car, we got the STI here, and we got an FRS, and then we have another F uh, F30 inside. I mean, and then we have my car. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm super hyped about the steering wheel. Best part about it is it is not brand new but it looks brand new like you can't even tell it looks like it's never even been used before which is like the best part but yeah aside from the coating you know harnesses things like that it's pretty much an easy install you just take it off put the new one on aside from that i'm just gonna wait now until he's done fixing or i'm gonna help him install the depots into that uh, f30 and then we're gonna start installing the steering wheel into my car can't wait we got an frs for god knows why what's even wrong ew that's what's wrong with it you need to fix that and that, and that ugly thing over there. This is like six hours later? Not even. Okay, two hours later? Okay, three hours later. Installing that dude's headlights took very long, but we're, we're still gonna get through this. We're gonna start my steering wheel install now. I'm gonna tell you guys right now how many tools you need. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys the finished, finished product today now because there's no more sunlight and I wanted to show you guys it in daylight, so tomorrow I'll continue filming this video so it'll be like a day two thing. In terms of the install, the tools you really need, a flathead screwdriver, a 16 millimeter, and what else? That's really it? That's it, just two things. It's a very easy install, it's nothing crazy. Uh, it should take you about 25 minutes max, I'm gonna say. How long do you think it's gonna take you? Less than five. Less than five, this guy's wild. You have to do coating as well, obviously, like I said before, if you didn't have paddles before, and if you don't have the harness. Right now, I, we don't have any extra harnesses laying around, so I'm not gonna be able to use the paddle shifters, but I'll come back, get the paddles working, all that stuff, and then I'll make the video of me driving and all that, which will be cool. The best part about this wheel, why did I change it? Obviously, because of how it looks, the thickness, how it feels, and just the way uh, if flows with the interior it just looks entirely just better and then on top of it obviously the paddle shifters so yeah let's start this install you're gonna stick it in here that's what she said and then as straight as you can okay so you're stick it in that hole as straight as you can the spring that's a <laughs> not that loud <laughs> the way that <laughs> Mike's gonna tell you guys how to do this because I obviously can't explain it the way the airbag is actually held in it's like a spring system so when you stick in the screwdriver in this slot right here you're gonna compress a spring. We can just imagine it's like this and behind the wheel. So the screwdriver is gonna go up and press the spring like this. And on the other side is the reverse. So you're pressing them both in and you should just be able to pull it out. All right, let's see it be displayed. All right, so stick it in that. Like that. All righty. Same thing for the other side. The only reason that side came out that easy or that I can do it that easy is because I've taken out like 3,000 F30 steering wheels. Really? Yeah. Um, so this is actually kind of tricky. Yeah, the first time it's really hard. Okay, so it takes a maneuver or anything. Yeah. What I'd recommend is make sure your flathead is facing like this, not like this. Like what? Like that. Oh, okay. 
not like this because it's harder to get in like that. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see. Right here. You see how he's putting it like that? He's saying not to put it like the You other. put it like this and then you yeah. turn it. Pretty much. And when you turn it, that allows you to pull off the airbag. And another trick is that you should get the screwdriver as straight as you can. So you put it, twist it, make sure it's straight. Like that. There you go. 16, I believe. Yeah, 16. All right. So yeah, to confirm, you need a flathead and a 16 millimeter and you should be good to go. If you want to be extra, 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 extra safe, go ahead, unplug the battery. But we're not gonna do it because we're lazy and if this blows up in his face, Awesome. Nice video. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's the connector for the airbag. This one is for your controls and paddle shifts. So what you're gonna do is just depress this clip right here and pull out. Oh, okay, that was so easy. Same thing with this one, you just pull it out. So it comes out. <laughs> like that. Wow, this is so much easier than the depot. Angel eyes. Oh my god. Finally an easy install. <laughs> you gotta take out these other plugs because we're taking out the steering wheel as well, not just the airbag. This one, here's another one. All right, so to recap, what we did was we unplugged this plug, this plug, basically all of them, and then you, the rest is just, you have to take take this unscrew off. this 16 millimeter, and then the wheel should come off. Let's see, let, let me see you do it. So when you're actually taking out the airbag with the screwdriver, this is what you're doing. There's a spring over here, right next to it. And what you have to do is press it like that. Ah, uh, okay. And that basically unhinges it and it allows it to... Okay. Exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So now the next step is to take off the 16 millimeter bolt. Another trick is to leave it a little tightened. So when you pull the wheel out, you don't punch yourself in your face. Mm -hmm. Now it's loose. Take out the bolt. And we're off. <laughs> I can't wait to put this in. Let's do this. In with the new, out with the old. Set it backwards. This thing is so... Uh, did I say it backwards? Yes. Oh my God, this thing's so much lighter too. Guys, right hand conversion. Right hand drive conversion. Right hand conversion. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've been a lefty my whole life, now I'm right-handed. <laughs> Your new wheel, we're gonna have to take the airbag out to plug it in and tighten it. So to take this airbag out, there's a hole over here and the same on the other side. This one is a little easier, it's not as tricky. You just put a screwdriver straight in. Push in with a little bit of force. No, I missed it. <laughs> you missed it? Yeah, push in, should be able to pop it out. Like that. Oh, and you get this side out, and then you do the other side. And the trick with this one is you should aim a little towards the back, so angle like this. Because if you put it forward, you miss it and just start stabbing random stuff. Oh, okay. So you want it to push towards this way, towards the back, towards rather the back. than straight. Yeah. Okay, I get you. Now this airbag is a dual stage, or single stage. Yeah. And we are taking out a dual stage, which is what is uh, regulation in the States. Pretty much we have to do some coding to get the airbag to work, but... Finally! Oh my god, it looks amazing already! Whew! It looks amazing. Guys, I'm so hyped. You guys know how badly I wanted this for so long? So when you're installing your new wheel, there's only way, one way you can install it properly, or else it's not going to let you. There's a line over here on the shaft of the steering column and on the wheel two over here. So you just line this up. We're having like insane amounts of trouble trying to show you guys this. It's very hard to see, but if you can see, there's a little line right there. You can see Mike's putting the flathead right on it. I'm trying to stay focused as much as possible. That one little line needs to line up with this line right here. As long as that's lined up, you're good to go and you can start screwing in your 16 millimeter bolt. Here is the brand new airbag. Can't wait to see this thing ready to go. So what he's doing now is basically plugging everything back in the way it was. Or not the way it was, but everything lines up pretty easy. You can figure out what to plug in and what goes where. Make sure they click in. And then that one that's empty right now, that's obviously for the airbag. So we're going to get to that right now. There we go. Click. Click. 
It's a very subtle click, nothing crazy. And we are done. That looks amazing. Key. Oh, I'm sorry. Awesome. Nice. That looks sick. How long did you think that took? It probably would have taken five minutes if you didn't have to film. So you were right. You were right. It looks amazing. Can you lower it like to the settings I have it at? Make sure that you uh, move the wheel out all the way and up all the way so you have enough clearance to stick the flathead screwdriver up the little hole of the old steering wheel. It just makes everything easier. Don't do it in your desired setting that you drive with because that, that's not how you're supposed to do it. All right, so as you guys can see, I think I probably cut myself off from the last clip. I don't know, my camera was acting up. This wheel looks amazing! Oh my god, I feel like I'm sitting in an M3, but it's not an M3. This wheel looks amazing, it feels so good, it feels like brand new. Shout out to the store on eBay that sold me this wheel, it looks amazing, I'm so happy with it. I wish I did this way sooner than later, I wish I did this a lot earlier. Hopefully you guys are looking at uh, shots of my GoPro and like a little, you know, shot of me driving and you can see the huge difference this wheel makes. A lot of you are probably gonna be like, oh, there's not even a huge difference. And then a lot of the enthusiasts and the guys who know F30s very well will see the difference and it is huge. It is not something small. It is a gigantic difference and the steering wheel just feels better, feels sportier, not to mention the paddle shifters. When I get the time and Mike gets the harness, we are gonna hook up the paddle shifters and get it to work. But for now, no shots of that. Once we get that, I'll get some shots maybe of me shifting as well to make it, you know, let you guys see how awesome that is. As you guys can see, I have an airbag light. We are going to code that to get it to work. And then we don't have to really worry about that. Uh, like I said, we have a dual stage airbag in the old steering wheel. And in the new steering wheel, we have a single stage, which is what they use in Europe. Once again, we're gonna get that coated, it'll be fine, so you guys don't have to worry, I'll survive if I do get in an accident. No worries if you guys even care about me that much. Uh, as you guys saw, the install was extremely easy, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, very simple. Tools, you only need a flathead and a 16 millimeter. Just a little bit of patience and you can be on your way. Nothing crazy, I will leave a link in the description to this exact steering wheel. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed this one, it was very easy to film. Shout out to the subscriber that was here installing the US our unique style racing depot angel eyes we it took most of our day i don't know why we took so long it was actually we did it quicker on my car and we were filming which is very weird anyway if you guys want to order the depot headlights my coupon code is now active uh just type in swift and you will get 10 percent off of the headlights so that'll save you about 50 or 60 bucks thank you so much for watching guys take care peace out